884-megawatt Suki Kanari hydropower project is being constructed in the difficult geological terrain of Kagan Valley since 2017. The project is Pakistan's highest head hydropower, with a long headrace tunnel and twin penstock system, including horizontal pressure tunnels and shafts. Due to the high pressure, poor geological condition, and faults, approximately 2,000 meters twin penstock tunnels and shafts are lined with steel pipes. To fabricate the steel liners, a state-of-the-art steel factory was established within the construction site area, with an average monthly production capacity of 735 tons. Let's witness the complete process starting from raw material to world's thickest steel liner for Suki Kanari Hydropower Project's pressure shafts. To produce the steel cans as per site requirement, the raw material of steel liners imported from China in the form of 10 meters by 3 meters steel plates with thickness varies from 24 millimeter to 72 millimeters. The fabrication process starts with the numbering, blanking, and grooving of steel plates according to the design parameters. After the blanking and grooving, the edges of steel plates are pressed in the 4,000-ton bending machine to bend the edges of steel plates. The steel plates are then transported onto the rolling unit with help of 50-ton gantry crane. The steel liners are rolled into a circular shapes to the desired diameter. The steel liners are rolled into 5,500 mm, 3,180 mm, 2,120 mm, and 1,860 mm diameters. The circular shaped steel liners are then transported to the welding unit. The longitudinal section of steel liners is assembled and welded using shield metal arc welding. The experienced team comprising of local and foreign are involved in this crucial job. Stiffener rings are welded with the steel liners using welded by 80% Arkansas and 20% CO2 gas shielded welding. The stiffener rings are welded on steel liners to provide support in the tunnel after installation and backfill concrete. After the fabrication, two steel liners are welded circumferentially to form a 6 meters long steel pipe. Circumferential welding is performed on semi-automatic welding units using submerged arc welding. A strict quality assurance system is exercised to detect welding flaws. The non-destructive testing including visual testing, ultrasonic testing, penetration testing, and time-of-flight diffraction TOFD, is in practice. This state-of-the-art steel factory at the construction site has a peak monthly manufacturing capacity of 950 tons. After fabrication and quality checks, the steel liners are then transported to the painting shop. In the painting shop, the surface of steel liners is cleaned using sandblasting, which also provides surface roughness for the paint sticking on the surface of steel liners. The inner side of the liners is painted with anti-corrosion paint to prevent the surface from rust.
Similarly, the outside of the liners is coated with cement slurry. Now steel aligners are ready for final quality inspection. The anti-corrosion paint of steel liners is tested using techniques of conductive spark leak test. The dry film thickness of anti-corrosion paint is also checked. Steel liner जो आप देख रहे हैं ये finished form में पड़े हैं सारी इस factory में fabrication और paint shop में paint के बाद जो है ये इधर इसको stack कर दिया जाता है जहां पर इसकी final inspection होती है। ये steel liner आप देख रहे हैं इसपे anti-corrosion coating हुई हुई है इसी तरह इसकी thickness भी check की जाती है जैसे कि ये आप देख रहे हैं ये इसकी फिल्म है इसकी फिल्म की ये ये ड्राई है बिल्कुल इसकी ड्राई फिल्म थिकनेस चेक की जाती है जो कि 800 हंड्रेड माइक्रॉन्स होनी चाहिए जब इसकी फाइनल चेक हो जाता है तो इसके बाद इसको हम ट्रांसपोर्ट कर देते हैं हमारी रिस्पेक्टिव साइट्स पे जहां पे ये इंस्टॉलेशन के लिए तैयार होगा Considering the complex nature of the job, good health, safety and environmental practices are in place. The mock training and strict implementation are being ensured during the job. In the end, these steel cans are transported to the respective site through a low bed trailer. By the end of 2022, the fabrication works of all steel liners have been completed. This steel factory produced over 15,000 tons of steel liners successfully. With the joint efforts of all parties, the goal has been achieved well before time. The project is planned to be operational by November 2024. Let's hope the project contributes positively to managing the country's energy outages. Allah be praised. Thanks viewers for watching. Thumbs up if you like. Write us your valuable suggestion in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more informative and exciting videos about energy projects. Share the video link if you feel value.